So the public have spoken and Papa Joe has been booted out of the village. And you know what? I bet he doesn't give a f You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah. It's time for Big Brothers Beyond the Side. <laughs> For Joe Lomo, that's brand name, you know what I'm uh, Tonight, Joe became your fifth evictee of the series. But listen, all is not lost, because the real fun starts here, down in Butts End, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Every night's the best night ever. Uh, coming up, Mrs Emma Willis is going to join me for a gossip. And if we're on our best behaviour, you might get a little exclusive out of us. Oh. And hold on to your wigs, because we are closing the show with a performance that will make you say, Yes, Queen! Yes! Uh, but first, it is time to introduce my model panel. First up, he's made some questionable fashion choices in his time. The waterproof Willy Hammock. I mean, come on. <laughs> Cue the double wave. It's Bobby Norris. Yeah! 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 She is a darling of stage and screen, but she is most famous for playing a character a few stems short of the full bouquet. It is the absolutely fabulous Harriet Thaw. Yeah! She brings her own fan. <laughs> and finally, she is one of my favourite divas. She has done one better than Cher, Liza Minnelli, Shirley Bassey, because you know what? She's finally appearing on Box. It's Cabaret Queen Lavoie! Yeah! Always here to tell us how the UK has been reacting to tonight's eviction. We love his dick. It's Tom Reed Wilson. Yeah. Tom Reed. That was a naughty one, That was a naughty one, weren't really, it, tonight? What's you the... made me go puce in the face. <laughs> <laughs> What's the country been saying, Tom? Oh, gosh. Well, they're wildly candid this Get your glasses this week. on, girl. Yes, get my glasses on. Uh, Amy from Norfolk says, Oi, oi, Kieran and Deborah. Go, Deborah. I am totally shipping Debran, which I think is a hybrid of Kieran and Deborah. Good, right, yeah. Hashtag love is in the air. Love is in the air. <laughs> Owen from North Hampshire says Sue is playing her own game to show certain housemates in a bad light oh. to get them evicted. Hashtag BBUK. Oh, God, so Sue's having a go. Mm, they don't sugar the pill, do they, darling? Oh, no, they don't, darling. <laughs> Shauna from Lincoln says... When Joe is as orange as Isabel and wears more makeup than Chanel, hashtag orange the tango, hashtag faker than my tits, <laughs> hashtag more makeup than me, hashtag come on. Joe. We love Tom! I love it. Are you surprised that Joe went? Well, I am a little. It was a roller coaster week, wasn't it? Mm. It was huge peaks and troughs, so I couldn't be sure. There was peaks and troughs galore. <laughs> He's going to be joining the panel later. Give it up for Tom, everyone. Oh. Right, well, let's get on with tonight's action. Uh, and Joe was kicked to the curb. Uh, Bobby, let me start with you. Was it Joe's time to go, do you think? Do you, I mean, I'm not surprised. But I kind of thought he would get one more, one more save. I actually thought it was going to be between Tom and Shot, but I actually thought it'd be Tom's night. You yeah. thought it'd be yeah. Tom tonight. Harriet, what about you? Do you think it was Joe's time to go? Absolutely, Luke. Yeah. Oh, you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Also. <laughs> I love it how she just comes out with the insult, but then the fan makes an appearance. <laughs> I love he it. He was a bully. You he didn't bullied, like him. He bullied people. You wasn't a fan of him no, in there. You no, wasn't a this fan. One's... No, the fan. Well, there's the fan. Um, <laughs> Lavoie, who would you? It's lovely to have Lavoie on the show tonight. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Um, were you surprised that it was him tonight? Not at all. Not at all. I think he was. He was. He's caused so many problems, so many arguments. I think he's got to go. It's a time he was a bully. You're absolutely right. He was a nasty piece of work. I'm not going to say an asshole. No, I'm going to say an asshole. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, listen, well, if it wasn't Joe tonight, you kept saying, Bobby, it was out of Tom and Charlotte, who yeah. do you think out of them two would you think would have got the public vote tonight? I think after the other night, it would have been Tom, because I kind of think he let himself down a little bit, and Kieran pulled him aside. So I felt like I was in that house. We watched for an hour. I felt like I'd watched it for seven hours of him <laughs> doing do that whole garden <laughs> thing, and I thought someone pulled him aside, and Kieran tried multiple times, so I thought that would have been his downfall. And then Shaw, bless, I mean, she's she's a sweet enough girl, but I feel like she's been saved a few times now, and oh, has she delivered all she's going to deliver? You think? Listen, I know sure. we've got Sue in there now. She's one of our older housemates now, but do you think the house is going to miss having the, well, not 70-year-old, as people were calling him, <laughs> a 56-year-old in there, Bob? I think, yeah, having older housemates gives you a nice balance. Mm. So, I mean, we've still got Sue, but it would have been nice to... Have Joe and Sue just for a little bit longer. A little bit longer. A little bit longer. A little bit longer. Yeah. Yeah. Lavoie, I've got to come to you. I mean, Joe this week, I mean, could have given you a run for your money. <laughs> Let me tell you, with the drag skills that he pulled out this week, I mean, would you be willing to take him on tour with you? Well, I mean, his age range is good. He'd have a free bus pass, wouldn't he? <laughs> face it, be He'd be cheater to her. He'd be cheater to her. I can't deal with this panel. Oh, God. All right, let's move to other news. Hurricane Sue said she is not scared of the great British public. Audience, should she be? No. You said yes. Look, absolutely. Seriously, sooner or later, a 24-hour moan fest, hurricane poo out the mouth, um, out the mouth gets boring. Oh, spit it out, yeah, girl. So, honestly, I, she's doing my head in. Watching, watching her is is like getting your head smashed in by the TV. It's that that bad. You're not a fan. No. You're not a fan. No, 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 you're popping up. Go on. No, no, because, I mean, she's come in there and she knows what time it is and yeah. what yeah. everyone is up to. She's and real. she goes, yeah, she's real and she's, she's saying real. it as it is. And, and she knows everyone's game playing. She's, so she's, she's, they're she's, all going she's for the bait. They're up. actually all going for the bait. If they were yeah. clever enough, they should be exactly. saying, oh, look, she's winding us up. Winding Let's us go up away from it. Stay no, away from it. Bob, Bob, what a lovely blouse. Thank you. She's not old before her time like Joe is. I'm six years older than Joe. Jesus. Oh, the barber's piping up. She's got a She's got a bus pass. Yeah, she's got all the passes. Uh, well, Sue did have plenty to say, and when don't she? Uh, she said to Hannah and Deborah that they'd conformed to fit in. Harriet, what do you make of that comment from, from Sue saying to the girls, you've conformed in this house to I try don't and think fit it's in? true. I think they're absolutely themselves. They're having a good time, and so they should. Thank you very much. So, thank you very much. Good night. That's all. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, listen, Deborah is certainly enjoying herself in there. Lavoie, we keep talking about this Deborah Kieran thing. It's been bubbling up for a good few weeks now. A couple of comments here, a couple of comments there. This week, it seems to have got a bit more prominent. Do you think there is any morsel of a bit of nookie nookie between them? Between Deborah and Kieran? Yeah. <sighs> I, yes, a little bit. But we've got to get over this of Ellie and Sam thing first. I think that's got to, they're not good. They're going to do it secretly, I think, if they do do it. You don't? You, do you, who said that? <laughs> I think a spin the bottle will get them two kissing. Spin the bottle will get them two kissing. Yeah. Uh, Bob, I mean, I feel your pain. You've, you've had your fair share of cox blocks, haven't you, dear? You really, really have. Did you feel bad for Sam and Ellie when Sue was like, stop the wet, wet, wet kissing? Do you know, it's a hard one, because I imagine to probably be in that room, it's probably not the nicest of things. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And I'm still a little bit juries out whether I'm really buying into that whole kind of... I don't know if that's a tad convenient when, when the kissing happens. Do you know you what think? I mean? A little bit. It seems a, a little false. bit calculated, little bit calculated. to me. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Lavoie, would you have a problem with a couple of lip locks in the bed opposite? I, I think the band analogy could have been a bit more modern if she wants to go down with the kids <laughs> and wear wet wet. But <laughs> uh, I think I would have had more of a problem if it was Joe and Sue. That would have been a bit more. <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, I'm come just putting on. it out there. Oh my god! I mean, that would have been a reason to keep him in. Let me tell you that. Um, we need to talk about the blue hat. Raph lost his blue hat in tonight's episode. Harriet, how relieved were you when he found it? I know it really hit a spot with you. It was one of the biggest dramas for me this week. However, <laughs> you revisited. We know he found the hat. Yes. Who cleaned up the milk? Oh, well. oh, yeah. I'm so not going to sleep. Unanswered questions. I'm not going to sleep tonight. I, 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 well, the fans back out. The fans, <laughs> listen, give him a round of applause. They're worried about me. All right, listen, just like Mama D, she's here to say her point and drop her mic and bounce. Uh, give it up for the gorgeous Mrs. Emma Willis. Shake <laughs> Shake it, shake it. 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 Shake it.
tuned as well. Right. Left cheek, left cheek. Left cheek, right cheek. Left cheek, have it, whatever cheek you want, babe. Um, <laughs> what a night. I Joe's know, gone. I you know. seem gutted. I am gutted that Joe's gone. Uh, because I think he added something to the house. Not just, you see, an older member of the house, and we all know that I think we older people should be represented in the house. Mm. Um, but I, I, as I said to him, I, I quite liked watching his face when all hell was breaking loose. He was quite a teller with, with his face. ridiculous arguments. I would always look at Joe and it just seemed like he was going, Blimey, I'll get me out of here. Yeah. Um, and he got involved as well with, like, you know, I, I know he said that it was... Um, it was a very young house, and at times it was a bit too full on. But he did get stuck in. Mm. You know what I mean? He dressed up as Chanel and all that stuff. He looked I beautiful, man. He did. <laughs> I mean, I he had to double take. I really did. Um, um, so, so yeah, I think, um, I think, yeah, I, I think he'll be missed. You think he'll be missed? Yeah. Did you, we're talking about him being missed. A couple, about two people agree. Um, talking of him being missed, out of the three that were up tonight, yes. do you think they all would have left a bit of a hole in the house? Go on. What? I'm not sure how much of a hole Charlotte would have left. You're not sure? Well, she's lovely. But we don't see much of her, do we? No, we don't. So, um, why so do that, you think that's we don't why... see much of her? Because there's so many well, more extroverts not... in there. Yeah, probably. They're, listen, they're big characters. We've just had four new housemates, three of which are bloody big characters. Yeah. Um, we also have, like, Deborah's coming out of herself Literally so much more. Life. I love her so much. Um, and. There's lots going on. There's like a romance going. So there's stuff going on. We're not seeing Isabel either. No. Do you know what I mean? So so. And she was at the forefront totally, of like week totally. three. There is so much going on that they're getting lost in it. Let's talk about the second chances. This time last week. Yes. You booted them in. Um, I mean, is it safe to say they're making the most of their second they, chance? They certainly are making their most. I mean, <laughs> come I mean, on. Hurricane Sue. I mean. The... Sue is a blowing in all directions. So, Hurricane Sue. Sue is one of those people that gives it all in their VT yeah. and delivers. Yeah, yeah. We were Simone, worried. We were worried. Simone said she was absolutely crazy, crazier than anybody in there, and she's gone in and been very normal. Yeah. She was kind of the other way, yeah. do you know what I mean? So you never know what you're going to get, and, and Sue, oh, she didn't lie. No, no, Sue did <laughs> not lie. Um, well, let's be honest with Hurricane Sue. Yeah. Uh, you've just said it. it. So many people go in there and big themselves up yeah. and don't do it. Do you think she can keep it up in there? Yeah, <laughs> I do. I do think she can keep it up. I think, um, I think it, it's, I think that's her. I do think she puts it on a bit. I think she's playing as well. It. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think she knows what she's doing. Yeah. Um, but she's she's creating content she's, and she and she's creating, creating storylines for herself. But one person that did create content obviously was Joe. We've yeah. lost him tonight. He was yeah. quite a big figure of the house. Let's yeah, be fair, totally. For the housemates and as a viewer. Yeah. Do you think that house divide, where we've spoken about the cool kids and we've spoken about the outsiders, yeah. it started to crumble already, but now he's gone. I think gone. those think lines are properly blurred. See, I thought Joe straddled that divide quite well. He was very much in the in the camp of uh, the cool kids, if that's what you want to call them. Um, but, like, him and Chanel, I think, had... I feel like Chanel is kind of the Joe of that group. She she merges with the others, and mm. I think Joe... Joe said to me tonight, I love Deborah and Hannah. Yeah. Like, they're, they're lovely. And I think since loton has gone, those lines have been blurred anyway. And what about Ellie and Sam? Ellie and Sam. Well, they're just on holiday, aren't they? They're having a lovely time. They're lovely. They're having a lovely time. Just an all-inclusive. It's just having an all-inclusive. And when you go on holiday, you have a little snog when you have a little drink, so that's what we're going to do. Right on all. holiday, aren't we? Right all. Yeah. We, a bit more than a snog, though, the other night. I mean, Willie out and everything. <laughs> What more do you want? It was like an anaconda. Anaconda? I thought it was a hose lock. I didn't know if it was going to go back in or not. Do you know what I mean, it Bobby? It shocked me. Bobby knows yeah. exactly. Right, now, listen, I've got to ask you, because yeah. we're running out of time. You were given a little, like, tidbit about what's going on this oh, weekend. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, couple yeah. Couple of interviews next couple, week. Couple of little couple bit. Of interviews. Oh, couple of little um, bit. But also, they're going to do... Um, so, the shopping task... Mm. They are gonna. Um, they have to decide whether they want to win the shopping task or spend time with 
loved ones. Right, then let's talk about loved ones. Hold up. Let's talk about loved ones, because there was a certain person I was talking about on Box the other night. We had Letitia on. I know. And Tom's girlfriend is Letitia's sister. There's yes. a bit of beef going on there. Yep. Will Paris be entering the Big Brother house? <laughs> tell me. Don't do the eye and tell me. Yes! 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 yes. Allegedly. Allegedly. It's all speculation. Allegedly. I'm going to leave you with that bombshell. Give it up for Emma Willis, everyone. Yeah. Please, please. Doesn't please. All right, don't go anywhere because Joe is literally hanging about backstage. Here he is, which is a good thing because he's due on my sofa any minute for a chat. Plus, the one and only Love is going to be singing us out at the end of the show with a disco medley. What more could you want? See you straight after this. We're with you, Sultan. Uh, we haven't had any action since 1924, either. God bless you. Uh, but first, we know he hates aggravating smiles. <laughs> he don't like annoying voices. Oh. And he don't like a bad fake tan. But I'm, I'm a... oh. This bloke is literally going to hate me. Give it up for your fifth evictee, Tenerife's finest export. Papa, or should I say, Mama Jo? Oh, Jo. Oh, wouldn't you had a time of it? What an experience you've had in that house. Tell me about it. I nearly had a fucking heart attack. He's nearly had a heart attack! He's nearly had a... How does it feel to finally be out? Because I know there was, there was points in there, Joe. We saw you saying you, you were thinking about walking, and we know you found it hard in there a lot of the times. Look, Ryland. I love his oh. stroking his head. I love it. I know. I've got a lot of it, haven't I? <laughs> be quite honest with you, right? And I, and I mean this in a nice way. If you have not experienced what it's like being inside there. Yeah. Not you, anybody. Yeah. Please don't judge anybody uh, uh, on that. Joe, I totally appreciate that. And what that. is even harder is if it was, say, 45 to 60-year-olds... It'd it be a different game. It'd be a different game. 100%. I never moaned. They, they are young people in there. They like getting drunk, play fighting, mm. cooking, singing and all yeah. that. I never moaned about it because I knew what to expect already. And do you know what got me, Joe, as well? Because we have seen you have a bit of a tough time of it. We've seen you go up, we've seen you go down. But this week, and I think everyone here will agree, we've seen such a more fun side of you Yeah, this do you know week. why? Yeah. We have. And, we, and Joe, I'll be honest, I, I, people have said a lot of things about you on the outside and I know you're a tough man and you can handle yeah. it. But this week, we've even sat here and said, you know what, Joe's had a bit of a bashing, but this week, I wish we'd seen more of it. But, do you know, do you know, look, it's easy to work out, right? If, you're, if you've got someone that you can have a laugh with... It's easy for you. It's easy for me. I can't keep approaching people because it looks like, like I'm, you know, licking their arse. Yeah. <laughs> I've only got three or four people that will come and talk, you know, for boys and be chat... In your... And be... The only people, the two people, and I don't mean this in an horrible way, and I mean it in a lovely way. The two girls in there, Chanel, all day long. Saw it. Ellie. Saw it. All day long. Debbie and Anna, same, but in a different way. Of course. I can be sexual, I can be naughty. Oh, we are! But I have to respect my sisters. Of course. No, you know and do you know I'm what, Joe? We did see that. And look, it's quite fair to say, look, you, you, you can really... imagine me day one, on day two, fucking putting a pillow in my arse and walking around like Chanel. It would be fucking like. <laughs> <laughs> I think we would have liked it. Do you know this audience, Joe? You know I mean? Listen, look, you were the oldest housemate, and it got to be fair, you did become a bit of a father figure in the house to people. Yeah, they're all taking the piss out of me because. I felt, I think, after the second day, and I kept going, medic, medic. <laughs> and do you know what? I loved it because we would play... Listen, you, you watch 40, 40 minutes of it. We play, acted, and we had some great laughs oh, on it. Joe, we have seen it. But we have seen it. then a woman, eight years younger than me, comes in, 
wants to dig me out. Yeah. Well, look, I want to talk to you about Sue in a minute properly. OK. But as I was saying, you were the father figure, but to Thank us, you. Joe, you'll always be the godfather. Here's your box bits. Have a look! Yeah. Have a look! Come on in, you fucking pricks. Who do you think you lot are? I'm running this fucking show. Fuck! Oh. You can only be as honest as you can. There's only one bit of advice that I, I could give you, darling. You're too emotional when you drink. You've got to try and control that. You're a slippery breath. Do you like the tan? It's a bit over the top. Let me be honest with you, darling. It's not that I don't like you. It's that you irritate me. He's a fucking nasty old fucking man! Fuck off. Just ask me, I just fucking told you. Simple as that. Some call him moody. I don't give a shit. Some call him very outspoken. No, it's a fucking enough. prick. But... All call him the Godfather. I can't take any of this shit. We want to know who fucking threw them eggs on the fucking floor. <laughs> Let's go fucking mezzo! <laughs> <laughs> I'll take each and every one of you on. All right. Go and fuck yourselves, all of you. Listen. <laughs> I love it. It's always starts. Listen. <laughs> I swear to God, I done some things in my life. Didn't expect that to be how it was. No, of course. I wouldn't change it for the world. I've met some lovely, lovely youngsters that I said I'd probably only take five or ten. There's ten people in there. When they come out one by one, I will message. Yeah. And if if I'm in England, if I'm in Manchester... And that's nice to hear. That know, is really nice um, to hear that you will do that. But, but at the same time, at the same time, there's a few in there <laughs> that can go and fuck this. I show. knew he was going to say it. I knew he was. Well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about Chanel. I mean, your relationship me, with Chanel, we adore it. Do you know it. something? If that... All, all jokes aside, if, if that happened from week one... I would have been taking the fucking piss out of her every day. She can take it. Yeah. She can give it. She knows when to play it. Yeah. And you know what? You've you've got to start knowing someone before mm. you can play act of course you on are. it. And you know what? To me, when you first see her walking in, you think, "Fucking hell, what's going on here?" Two tits and a face. Right. Yeah. But let me tell you something. That girl. Oh, mate, I, I would, if it went, went any further, I was scared that we was getting two in a hot tub. Oh, Joe, stop <laughs> it! <laughs> you know? Stop it, I've met Oh, Joe! <laughs> Jen, listen, <laughs> she, listen, uh, I could do that with her all day long and have a laugh. But it is just a laugh. It's it a laugh. just a laugh. But do you know the beauty of it? Is when two people see her, I fucking love her to death, when two people play act on it, Enjoy it. And you enjoy it. And, and you, know you enjoy what? yourself. A lot of people judge that girl. Let me Everyone tell you judged something. her when she walked in. Listen, let me tell you something. She plays that to the TV and when the tasks are ready and she does a meow, meow. Yeah. But you know what? She'll be my friend for the rest of my life. Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> that is lovely. I don't know if she'd appreciate you yeah. saying that. Yeah. But then on the other hand... She's got another best friend in the house that you two just absolutely clashed with, and that was Raph. Joe, what happens with you? Steve? Listen, like I said, you watch 40 minutes of it, I'm stuck in there for 24 hours. Um, Joe, let, let me say, we only do see an hour of a night, obviously, 40 right. minutes with the advert. We know what, what goes on in that house, 100%. And we do see, we've seen it from Raph's side, and we have seen it from your side as well, but what, in your own personal opinion, being in there with him that just didn't click with him? He made a big mistake with that silly prick who left first. Name Arthur YMCA. Right. There we go. We're doing right. That. I don't give a shit what anyone says. Prick. Big prick. Um, little prick carpool box. Little bit prick, whatever. Yep. He tried to play everyone, but it didn't work with me. The first three, four days, everyone was going around trying to know each other, and he's just them two are like, and you think, oh, okay, then if you don't want to fucking talk to me, I'm not going to talk to you. Then some things happened that I haven't seen, that obviously you don't know. And I thought, but I knew that 
the way he goes on, how many fucking, how many things we know, he knows. Well, with all the, in, the intellect and all of that. And there's things that you haven't seen on it, and of I course. just thought, D he's scared. He's scared. The only Joe, person he I'm, was scared. I, I, I hate doing this to people. I really, really do, because I think you're a diamond. But we have run out of time, oh, and no. it is absolutely gutting. I know, don't. We've only got three bloody parts tonight. Joe, I promise you, we're going to have a bit after the break with you as well. But on Monday, you're going to be back with me on Bots and we're going to have a proper deal. Give it up for Joe, everyone. I mean it. And not only that, Joe, you get your very own set of violins. Very well, bags. You do. But listen, leave that here. Come with me, Joe. Come with me. Come here. Because, unfortunately, Joe, this is the moment they all dread. And I hate to do it to you because you are the godfather. Spin round. It's time to turn him red. <laughs> You've been a brilliant house, mate, Joe. Thank Ladies and gentlemen, give up for Joe. Give yourself over on the panel. Here he's, having a, he's having a lovely time. Right, coming up, what a night. We've got your first exclusive look at the fallout since Joe's departure. And for one night only, Lavoie closes the show because your disco needs you. And Joe might have bid farewell to the Big Brother Village, but he still must face the final cut! <laughs> See you in a snippet. Exclusive look at what's been going on in the village since Joe's left. Just have one. It's days. sad because he's an example to any person that's older that you can do anything you want to do. You just got to put your mind to it. Yeah. Obviously, I don't regret anything, but I just felt sorry for him because this was hard. But he was such a nice man. Such yeah. a cool guy, man. But you heard I've him. I've never even had one negative problem with him, like. He's always spoke to me like I'm his own daughter, he always encouraged me and been there, so I respect him for that. And trust me, the Godfather still lives there. Joe! 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 Obviously, you've just seen what they've said, Joe. Obviously, I can see you're getting a bit emotional. How does it, oh, look, like we've said all night, we know you've had a rough time in there, but what does that mean to you? Do you know something? Them two sisters are a great example to a lot of people, they should listen to what... They're just fucking fantastic. Oh, sorry. Tom, yeah. um, what did you think of that? I always find these uh, the eviction reactions so heartrending, because it's, mm. the, it's then that you see how hugely everybody invests in each other yeah. in there, because it's, it's overwhelming to them. Harriet, do you think that's... Do you think that's... It, it would have helped Joe out a bit more if, that, if people were like that a bit more with him whilst he was in the house, maybe, rather Absolutely. than after. Absolutely. If people could really communicate together, it'd be different. But they it can't. Be They're at story. each other all the time. I know. Yeah. Lavoie, do you agree? Yeah. yeah, I think Leopard's changed your spots. You had a bad time. You came. You had great fun this week. She was running around like a mad shower cap woman screaming one week, and now she's adorable. <laughs> you know, Leopard's can change their spots in there. You know, that's great. Bobby, it's a free part. I've run out of time. You can come back on Monday. All right, mate. Back to you. Yeah. 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 Super casino, isn't it? Mm. And now, listen, Joe, it is now time for you to cheer up and take a seat in my stylish chair because it's time for your final go! and you've now been cut from the team. I don't want to see any tears. Well, that's too late. Uh, <laughs> Joe, to be fair, I haven't really got a lot of work to do here, so let's find out what we're going to be asking you tonight. Were the other housemates as thick as snip? Yes. Yeah, I bet they were. Did the other housemates appreciate your razor-sharp tongue? No. Oh. Out of Andrew and Rap, who would you like to cut ties with? None of them. Uh, no, cut the ties, darling. Cut the ties. Yeah. Andrew. Oh, yeah. Who have you got your tips on to win? Sister. Oh! Yeah. Finally, which housemate wrenched you when they said this about your image? Joe is ballsing his one up proper seriously. Probably Sue. You think it was Sue? Mm. 
It was so he got it right. Oh my lord, he got it right. Oh Joe, listen, that is it for tonight. A massive thank you to our panel and a fantastic audience. I'm gonna be back on Monday night with Joe, Sarah Powell, Liam McGoss, and Joe Swash. We'll get Bobby in as well. But performing Dancing Queen and your disco needs you, and one night only, it's the one, no, no. Your disco needs you